Hello, I'm Anaïs Durand, and I will present you a joint work with Karin Altizen, Stéphane De Vim, Colette Jonen, and Franck Putti on self stabilization in highly dynamic networks. self stabilization was introduced by Dijkstra in 1974. When the system behaves correctly, it remains in so-called legitimate configurations. However, if some perturbations such as transient faults hit the system, it may start to behave incorrectly, to deviate from its specification. If the system is self-stabilizing, it will recover in finite time a correct behavior. Like I said before, self-stabilization allows to withstand transient faults. Those failures are rare and non-permanent. But one can also withstand other type of failures with self-stabilization. For example, permanent failures, such as process crashes with fault-tolerant self-stabilization, or Byzantine failures with strict stabilization. One can also withstand intermittent failures, such as message loss, duplication, or reordering. But that is in static networks, and most of the literature of self-stabilization assume static topologies. So, what about self-stabilization in dynamic networks? Well, if topological changes are rare, and processes can eventually locally detect them, one can use a self-stabilizing algorithm designed for arbitrary topology. The system will recover after topological changes, just as after a chosen fault. Actually, this is the argument that is sometimes used to claim that a self-stabilizing algorithm is suited for dynamic networks. Some variants of self-stabilization have also been proposed, especially for dynamic networks, such as superstabilization and gradual stabilization. However, this works only if you have few topological changes, if those changes are geographically and timely sparse. But as soon as the frequency of your topological changes increases, those solutions become highly ineffective. So, can we do self-stabilization in highly dynamic networks, where topological changes are not transient, but are intermittent? Where topological changes are not an anomaly, but are completely inherent to the system? With that question in mind, our first contribution is the definition of self-stabilization in the context of ID dynamic networks. We then focused on the fundamental problem of leader election. We assumed synchronous rounds where processes first send messages to their neighbors, then receive messages sent to them during the round, and finally do some computations such as preparing the messages that will be sent at the next round. We chose to model the dynamic of the topology using a time-varying graph. It is a simple graph that is enhanced with labels on its edges. Those labels say at which rounds an edge exists. With the time-varying graphs, we have an extension of the definitions of graph theory. For example, a journey or temporal path is a kind of path along time. Let's see an example. Here, can process D send a message to process A? Well, during the first round, D can send a message to C. Then C can forward the message to B. Then during the third round, the message can remain on process B. And finally, process B can send the message to A. So here, in red, we have a journey from process D to process A, and its length is 4, since we need 4 rounds to go from D to A. With these journeys, we can now define the temporal distance between two processes and the temporal diameter of the network. A wide hierarchy of TVG classes exists. Those classes are defined according to some temporal properties. We choose to focus on three different classes. The first one, TCR, contains all TVGs in which, at any point in time, 
any process can reach any of the through journey. We can say that the network is temporally connected. The second class is a subclass of TCR called TCQ Delta. In this class, infinitely often, any process can reach any of the Fourier journey whose length is bounded by the parameter delta. Finally, the third class is included in TCQ delta. TCB delta is similar to TCQ delta, except that the journey of length at most delta exists at any point in time and not only infinitely often. In other words, in TCB delta, the temporal diameter of the network is bounded by delta. With that context, we first have some impossibility results. We define the, the notion of size ambiguity. It means that some subset of processes do not share enough initial knowledge on n, the number of processes, in order to be able to distinguish whether the network is only composed of them or is bigger than that. Our result is that any deterministic self-tabulizing leader election algorithm that works either for class TCQ delta or TCR cannot be size ambiguous, and that is even if the processes are identified. In other words, the exact knowledge of n, the number of processes, is necessary to solve this problem in TCQ delta or in TCR. But we also have some positive results, since we propose three algorithms. The first one works for class TCR. Due to the nature of this class, we are not able to bound the time requirement needed to elect a leader. Unfortunately, the memory requirement is not bounded, since this algorithm uses infinite variables. The second algorithm works for class TCQ delta. Again, due to the nature of this class, we are not able to bound the time requirement, but the memory requirement is bounded. Finally, our third algorithm works for TCB delta, and here we can bound the time requirement. It is at most three delta rounds, and the memory requirement is logarithmic. Notice that both algorithm 1 and algorithm 2 requires the exact knowledge of n, the number of processes, since we showed it is necessary for classes TCR and TCQ delta. Notice also that TCB delta is included in TCR and TCQ delta, so algorithm 1 and algorithm 2 can be used on a TVG of TCB delta. In this more favorable case, we can bound the time needed to elect a leader. It is respectively delta plus one rounds and two delta rounds. This means that our algorithms one and two are speculative. They offer better performances in more favorable cases. As a conclusion, we proposed a new definition of self-stabilization suited for highly dynamic networks. We then focused on leader election. We have both negative and positive results, with the impossibility of solving self-stabilizing leader election in TCR or TCQ if the exact knowledge of n, the number of processes, is not known, and with three different algorithms respectively for classes TCR, TCQ delta, and TCB delta. Our future work will focus on extending this study to other TVG classes, but also to other fundamental problems such as synchronization. Thank you.